Hey, what's up guys? God here. What's going on people? How are we all doing today? And by the title, as you could tell, we are talking about Connor Murphy and more specifically his video titled Connor Murphy Escapes from the Psych Ward. And that is the video I'm going to be watching today. The video I'm going to not be reacting to because I already watched it. But I'm basically just going to break down the video, try to make sense of what Connor is trying to say, and try to help you understand what he wants you to understand. But also why he's going about it the wrong way. Because I can tell that Connor wants to be on a spiritual path. He wants to be bettering himself. He wants to help people better themselves. But the way in which he's doing it is counterproductive. It is, it, it is making people think he's crazy. It is making people comment. He's on drugs. He's just doing too many drugs. And yeah, I'm just gonna watch the video, break it down, and try to make sense of everything that he's talking about. So just to give you a little background, if you didn't already know, Connor went on an ayahuasca experience, which is a psychedelic experience similar to mushrooms, similar to LSD, DMT, all those substances of the psychedelic compound. Now, whenever someone takes these substances, sometimes they would find something called enlightenment, as they would put it, something that brings them closer to God, brings them um, some sort of revelation, some sort of, I know everything now, I know everything about the universe and how it works, and now I need to spread this message. And that's basically what Connor probably thinks in his mind right now, is that he has some sort of knowledge that other people do not. And now he's making the claims that he is God and that we are all God. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why this is not the right way of, of going about things. Now, in some way, Connor's not wrong because God, as an entity is infinite and it is the infinite consciousness of the universe or the, is the universe itself so within our own minds we have a consciousness we have the ability to think consciously to create a life for ourselves we have the ability to to do things for ourselves and in that way we are separate from any other animals we are separate from all other creatures which is why as humans we hold ourselves to a very high standard now the problem with these psychedelics is that sometimes they leave us in a mental state thinking that we are god we are all connected right we are all connected as humans as a consciousness but as humans we are also finite we are also not able to live forever we're here on the earth and we have to abide by the laws of nature. We have to abide by the physics of reality. So Connor in his mind thinks that he can do anything. And this is just simply disillusionment. I got a psychiatric evaluation. And of course they considered me mentally unstable. So they uh, put me in the psych ward. They put me on a 96 hour hold. They put me on no medication. So how is that possible? How is that possible? Well, it's quite simple, really. All I had to do was find an open-minded doctor. The first one didn't work out, but I had a second doctor, and uh, yeah, he kind of he kind of got everything, man. Um, so in short, Connor basically wrote this letter to the doctor, explaining his acting, explaining his uh, YouTube channel, and basically it got him out of the psych ward. Now, was there any reason? For him to even enter the psych ward in the first place see the fact of the matter is that connor is trying to prove a point he's trying to prove to people that he is god he's trying to prove to people that he has the capabilities to do what a god could do and this is exactly the reason why he's straying away from the spiritual path because 
we are not God. We cannot be God. We just have the spirit of God within us because we have the consciousness. We have the ability to think and the ability to work within this physical plane, within our own planes of existence. But we are not God. We do not have infinite knowledge. We do not have infinite wisdom. To become more spiritual, to become more like God, is to always be searching for wisdom, is to always be learning, is to always be searching for more understanding, trying to understand the nature of God, because we cannot understand God, like Connor says. You're trying to imagine God with your finite little mind. God is infinite. You can't imagine him with your finite little mind. Hopefully, more people will start getting into spiritual practices such as meditation, and the world will slowly become a more peaceful place. Wake up! Wake up! You're God, dude! You're God! You are God. I am God. So, within the realm of the physical plane, there is positivity and there's negativity, right? So if you fall too low on the anxiety or negativity spectrum, you fall into depression, you fall into non-action, non-doing. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to accomplish anything. You don't have any purpose. And if you fall too far on the positive spectrum, you think everything you do is right and everything you do is law, like a god, and with no consequence, with no regard for the laws of nature, no regard for the laws of reality, the reality in which we all live in. Now, Connor is on the far positive side of the spectrum in this current moment, because he thinks he is a god, and he also thinks that Everybody should listen to what he has to say. Everybody should follow what he has to say because he is God. Let's say theoretically Connor was right. If he is God and we are all God, then what reason do we have to listen to him? Now I'm gonna tell you right now that it's basic human knowledge that when you try to forcibly tell someone what to do, they're not gonna listen because you have no regard for what they're going through. You have no regard for what's going on in their mind. In your mind, you may be super confident. You may be super positive. Like, you can do anything. But in another person's mind, they may be feeling depressed. They may be feeling like they can't accomplish anything within this, uh, this world. But, in order to get through to people, you have to understand them. You have to understand the anxiety. You have to put yourself within a situation that can relate to other people. You have to empathize with how they feel. You have to empathize with how they would want to accomplish things. You know what I mean? Because not everything is done the way you want it to, to, to be done. God is different. You have to abide by the laws that he has set in place in reality. Because if you don't, then people will just end up thinking you're all crazy. People will end up thinking you're on drugs. They would realize the crazy, with air quotes, they thought I was, was actually just true happiness with a complete lack of any insecurity. Absolute freedom. So Connor talks about happiness as being free from insecurity and being free from anxiety in a way and I'm gonna tell you why this isn't this is not true because we as humans we need anxiety in order to be human anxiety is what puts us on this realistic plane you know like it makes us realistic it makes us feel like there's some limit to what we do. 
So if we have too much of it, then obviously we limit ourselves too much. But if we have too little of it, then there's no limitations. And guess what? When you think that you have no limitations, then you end up doing some crazy shit like getting yourself admitted into a psych ward and then trying to prove points and then trying to to do other crazy things until you just fall into this weird space where no one understands you. So Connor is basically, his ego is right now at the highest level, but he thinks that it is at the non-existent level because he is in a position where he believes he can judge people. He's in a position that he believes that everything he does is right. And he is literally judging people for what he is, the same thing that he's doing. He is saying, I'm right, follow what I do. And he's basically just saying, you're wrong, like, because you think you're right. This would give my audience all the validation they were looking for. <laughs> you guys wanted that validation, didn't you? <laughs> they were looking for that validation and that fuel to their egos. I am God. Stop saying that's not true because you don't know what it means, see? In the Bible it says to take the log out of your own eye before you take the speck of dust out of your brothers, which basically means that we cannot see our own hypocritical statements. We cannot tell when we are being hypocritical, but we can tell when people, how people react. We can tell when people react to us negatively and based on our own egos and how we feel about that, that's how we would react. So if we react negatively, then that means we have a huge ego. We're not accepting of what other people think. We're not accepting of of what other people believe. The path to spirituality is a search. It is a journey. It is the here and now. There's not, there's not an end point, you know, because we can never be God. We can only be on the entire quest to gain knowledge about God or to try to get closer with God like the monks do. They try to meditate for hours in order to come to some Zen, come to some peace, some connectivity with, with God. There's no, oh, I took some psychedelics, now I'm God. Now I came to that sudden realization that I'm God. No, that's, that's not how it works. It's simply to put in our minds that yes, we have lots and lots of potential to do great things. We have lots and lots of potential to be who we want to be. But if we don't have balance and if we don't have realistic goals, we don't set realistic points where that we can actually reach, then we will never get to where we want to be. So in conclusion, I am not here to judge Connor, and he is not in a position to judge any of you. That's not the point. The point is that we are all here. We are all collective human consciousness. We are all in this world together. We should live together. We should work together to accomplish great things, you know? There is not some human beings that are spe more special than one another. There is not some human beings that have some more of a special connection with God. If you want to have a connection with God, then just pursue a connection with God. If you want to have good writing abilities, then just write. If you want to be a good artist, practice making art pieces. That is literally the, the concept of everything, is just to do. God as an entity created things. He did. He doesn't he doesn't need to prove that he's God because he has everything here laid out for us. This is the evidence. 
this world, even these, this technology, me talking to you right now, just think about how crazy it is. But anyway, maybe Connor will see this, maybe he won't, I don't know. But I hope you guys learned something from this. I definitely am still learning. I'm still on the path to finding more wisdom. Definitely on the path to becoming closer with God and just trying to understand more. Peace, guys. Hope you enjoyed this.